Good Monday morning, about eight o'clock. August 9th, 2021, continuing my episode guide. Baseball Hall of Famers, analyzing all aspects of the game. I'm focusing right now on pitching. Last episode, I did winning percentage. This one, I want to do innings pitched. Or are you going to evaluate pitchers who are in the Hall of Fame? How many innings did a pitcher average for his career? When he started the game, did he last one inning, two innings? Those pitchers would not survive in the big leagues. What is the career record of a pitcher and his average of innings per game pitched? I looked into it. Of course, we know that Cy Young has the most innings pitched in his career total. 7,356 innings. Can you believe that? How did he last so long? Ooh. Pud Calvin. I'll do the top 10. Pud Calvin, 5,941. Walter Johnson, 5,914. Phil Necro, 5,404. Nolan Ryan, 5,386. Gaylord Perry, 5,350. Don Sutton, 5,282. Warren Spahn, 5,243. Steve Carlton, 5,217. 10. Pete Alexander, 5,190. And that's the top 10. And then there's three more guys that have 5,000, so I'll give them props. Kid Nichols, 5,056. Tim Keefe, 5,049. And Greg Maddox, 5,080. So here's a question I've been asking. Who can we consider are the greatest pitchers of all time? Last episode, I went according to winning percentage. This episode, I want to see, what did a pitcher average? How many innings per game did a pitcher average? And maybe we can determine his greatness. You know who's the number one spot as far as career innings pitched per game average. For example, if a guy started 1,000 innings and he pitched, or no, let's say a, a guy has 1,000 games and you have nine innings per game, right? So that's 9,000 innings. What if he pitched nine innings every game? His average would be 9.0 innings per every game he pitched, right? 9.0. But nobody's pitched nine innings for every game he's played. Nobody's done that. But there's a couple guys who come close. Number one, average. Average innings per game for his career. Charlie Radborn, Old Hoss Radburn, is in the number one spot as far as average of innings per game he pitched in his career. He, he pitched in 527 games, and he has a total of 4,527 innings. His average per game, 8.6 innings per every game he pitched. Now, he probably had some games where he went extra innings, and he probably had a game or two where he went seven, six or seven innings. But it's, if you average out 527 games and he has 4,527 innings, he averaged 8.6 innings for every game he played in. Almost a complete game. 
absolutely incredible. He's in the number one spot. Should we consider Charlie Radburn one of the most talented and best pitchers of all time, greatest pitchers of all time? He'll be a factor. Number two on the list, John Clarkson. 531 games, 4,536 innings. He averaged 8.5 innings per game. I'll do the top 10. And then I have a list of 55 pitchers and their average of innings per game. John Clarkson is in a number two spot. Number three, Pud Calvin, 705 games, 6,003 innings, 8.5. Mickey Welsh is number four, 565 games, 4,802 innings, 8.5. Tim Keefe, 600 games, 5,049 innings, 8.5. Amos Rusi, 463 games, 3,788 innings, 8.2. Kid Nichols, 621 games, 5,067 innings, 8.2 innings. Cy Young, 906 games, 7,356 innings, number one all time. 8.1 innings per game for, for uh, Cy Young. Vic Willis, 513 inning, or games, 3,996 innings, 7.8. And number 10, Christy Matthewson, 636 games, 4,788 innings, 7.5 innings per game. Notice all these guys are old school. They're before 1950. Charlie Rad Radburn, Sean Clarkson, Pud Calvin, Mickey Welsh, Tim Keefe, Amos Rusi, Kid Nichols, Cy Young, Vic Willis, and Christy Mathewson. Now there are eight players who average eight or more innings per start. The first eight. Number nine and ten, Vic Willis and Christy Mathewson are in the seven innings per start. So I'm going to list the rest of the pitchers, but I'm not going to list games and innings. It'll take too long. I'll just list the name and how many innings per game that they average for their career, okay? So, number 12, Juan Marshall, then Joe McKinney, Jack Chesber, Walter Johnson, Bob Gibson, all average 7.4 innings per game. Next, Tom Seaver, Rue Vaudell, 7.3. Next, Ed Plank, Burt Blylevin, 7.2. Next, Jim Palmer, 7.1. Then Steve Carlton, Ted Lyons, Warren Spahn, Jack Morris, 7.0. Now we're going to get into the players who average six or more innings per game. Robin Roberts, Catfish Hunter, Ed Walsh, Gaylord Perry, 6.9 innings per game. Next, Stan Kolvisky, Don Sutton, Lefty Grove, Ferguson Jenkins, Greg Maddox, and Randy Johnson, 6.8 innings per game. Next, Carl Hubble, Bob Feller, Nolan Ryan, 6.7. Next, Don Drysdale, early win. Mordecai Brown, 6.6. .6. Next, Chief Bender, Epi Rixey, Tom Glavin, 6.5. Next, Whitey Ford, Jim Bunning, 6.4. Next, Phil Necro, Bob Levin, Lemon, Rube Marguard, Rube 6.2. Next, Al, Hal Newse, Neuheiser, Red Faber, 6.1. All right, the next guys are in the 5.5 or plus innings per game. Pedro Martinez, Sandy Koufax, 5.9. Next, Herb Pettick, 
And then the last two, number 54 and 55. Jesse Haynes, 5.7, and Wade Holt, 5.6. So I, I'm going to do winning percentage. I'm going to do innings pitched. I'm going to do ERA. I'm going to do strikeouts, and then I'm going to do shutouts. All those five categories, and then I'm going to see who comes out on top in each one as far as their stats, and then I'm going to make a determination of the 10 best pitchers of all time, the greatest pitchers of all time. So in this episode, we focused on innings and how many innings they average per games played. What do you think of those, uh, the top 10? They had a lot of games and a lot of innings. They stayed in the game. They didn't come out. Uh, some of these other players on here. Walter Johnson, 7.4. Tom Seaver, 7.3. Uh, surprised to see Randy Johnson, 6.8. And Nolan Ryan, 6.7. You see Ro Nolan Ryan, 807 games. So he had some, I think, relief appearances so that brought down his average per game but he a lot of times he went eight or nine innings in fact he had a lot of complete games uh let's see who else was on here whitey ford remember he had the best winning percentage in my last episode he averaged 6.4 sandy koufax 5.9 he had 397 games and had 2324 innings he retired early but he had a lot of complete games. So I'm surprised to see his average of 5.9 innings per game. But that's what his stats come out to be. All right. So this is the second episode on pitchers. I got three more episodes on pitchers. And then I'll make a determination. I'll do the stats. I'll do the top 10 of the greatest pitchers, I think, of all time. Thanks for watching. I'm out.